Welcome to the Home Buying Guide in Six Steps. My name is Jennifer Salter with eXp Realty. And so the first step is to get a pre-approval letter. Before you even go out the door to look at homes, your realtor, and more importantly yourself, need to know your home buying power. There's so many times that people go out thinking that they should look for a house in this price point only to find out later that either that price point won't work for them or that they actually have more buying power than they thought. So in order to do that, you need to call a local lender. And if you don't know one, ask your community, ask your trusted realtor or real estate advisor to help you find a lender that can do that for you. The process is simple, just takes about 20 minutes to get an application in. Once you have your pre-approval letter, um, you should take it with you to any showing you have on a property or give it to your real estate advisor that you're working with. Step number two, now you can start searching for homes. Enjoy looking online. Ask your real estate agent for homes on the market that fit your specific needs and criteria. And now's your time to schedule showings and go make appointments to look at properties. Look, tour, fall in love. Step number three, now that you've looked for homes, you found the one that you loved, it's time to make an offer. So your next step is to contact your realtor, make sure that you discuss all of the important aspects of the property, things that were noted by the real estate agent, things that they found out online through the tax website and the government website and easements and anything that is related to the property that's important for you to make a decision. And then from there, you're going to be deciding on a purchase price, deciding on due diligence and earnest monies, and you have to make sure you consider your due diligence period. How long are you going to take to observe and inspect the property? Oftentimes in our market, you'll see that date range between two to four weeks. That'll give you enough time to schedule any kind of important professionals that need to come out and advise you on the property, like an inspector, or maybe you need septic inspections or water testing, whatever it is, your due diligence period is your time to do that in. So give yourself enough time. Number four, now you got the house you love, you're under contract, now what? So the first thing is your due diligence monies and your earnest money need to be delivered. The due diligence goes to the seller and the earnest money is going to be held in escrow by an attorney. Your real estate agent or yourself is going to schedule the actual closing with the attorney's office. Schedule the date that you marked on the contract. Next thing is to immediately, within a few days of being under contract, go ahead and schedule those inspections. That is vital that you get that scheduled as soon as possible. And then, of course, consult with any of your attorney, your accountant, anyone that may need to know about your home purchasing. Number five, scheduling. Now, you've done all these other steps. Now it's time for you to schedule any kind of utility transfers or different start dates for when you're moving into your property. Make sure you contact your other service providers for cable or maybe you want an alarm system in the new house. And don't forget to contact the postal service and make sure you change your address. And then, of course, if you need to hire movers, now's the time to do it. Step number six, it's closing day. So now you're going to attend your closing at your local attorney's office. You're going to sign the home buying purchasing paperwork. And now you're off with your keys to your new home. Hope this helps. And remember, if you're in the Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill area, make sure to contact me. My name is Jennifer Salter with eXp Realty. My phone number is 919-442-8041. Stay tuned for more helpful videos. Have a great day.